Hello guys and welcome back to the CryEngine Free SDK tutorial series. Uh, in this vid video I'm going to be showing you how to make your scenes a little more dense, have a little bit more life simply by adding density. On my screen you can see that I've got a whole bunch of meshes in here. I've got a few vehicle entities, you don't need to worry about those. Uh, but the most important thing right now is all the different trees I've got. I've only got two variations, but regardless it's pretty sweet. I've got some grass in here too, and this isn't just a texture, this is a actual ah. mesh. So if you go into the scene you can actually see that. It looks really sweet. I've got some nice, cool, sweet looking trees too and they are uh, laid out pretty sweetly as well. One other cool thing with CryEngine trees that I really like is that they are actually destructible. You can shoot somewhere on the trunk and it will break in half. And you can do that multiple times, uh, as i just shown you there. But anyway, uh, back to the point. I want to I want to show you how to add more life to your scene by adding density. So to do that, really, what we want to do is we want to add vegetation. To do that, it's actually pretty simple. So I'm going to be showing you uh, vegetation and basic basic object placement. So to do vegetation, you go over to a terrain tab, hit vegetation, and then over here we've got a interface that you may or may not have seen already. Uh, I'm just going to explain the basics for you, uh, just so you get a general gist of things. So, over here we've pretty much got our menu, we don't need to worry about those just yet. We've got our brush radius, we've got paint objects, and then we've got our objects. You can see that I've got a few down here by default. Uh, so, down here we've got a basic object layer system. We can toggle these on and off. So let's say I've got my palm trees, which are these trees over here. I can just use this to toggle them on and off. And you'll see, it looks pretty goddamn bare without them. So, we can also do that on all the additional layers. So let's try this with the grass. I can turn that on and off. Without the grass, it looks pretty damn ugly. And I can also do that on my jungle trees to the left and the right of my screen at the moment. Okay, so... Well, you're probably thinking now, hey, how do I add my own vegetation? So, to do that, we want to go over to the menu here and press Add Vegetation Object. Over here in the game directory in your CryEngine installation, you can go to Game, Objects, and then you can choose a whole bunch of objects, uh, object presets that we've already got here. So, we want to do something natural, like trees, so just go into there and find a decent looking tree. So, I'm going to go into here, jungle tree fin, uh, let's try this one, I haven't used it yet. Uh, now, you're probably wondering, let's say I just drag this in, it's not letting me do anything, which is kinda sucky. So, to fix that, you just wanna go over here, Select the tree that you just put in, I I believe it's the thin one, and then turn up your brush radius, and then you should get a brush. However, you won't right now, simply because I haven't got paint objects turned on. So make sure you've got that turned on, and use your brush radius to turn up the uh, radius of your brush. So the bigger it is, the more plants are going to go in. Uh, well, the faster they're going to go in because you've selected a wider area. So, I'm just going to turn it down to fit around the edges of this. So, now I'm just going to click, hold down, left click to add in my jungle trees. You can see that they are very, very small and there's lots of them which isn't so great. And running through them is a real pain in the ass. however it is super dense. So. Let's just control Z that, and I'm going to change the size. I want these to be a little bigger, so let's change this to 3. And then, boom, oh crap. Okay, let's find this again. Paint objects on, and paint. It's a little better now. Uh, they're taller for sure, and it should make it easier to run through as well. However, I still think it's a little weird. You can play around with the density as well, which is pretty cool. So, let's go over to density. 
I'm going to change this to 0 0.3 uh, then go to here paint objects and boom now it is super dense actually uh, it's not working at the moment I'm not too sure why that is but um uh, just have a look around on the internet to see if you can get density working or not anyway uh, we've covered density we've got our si and we've got our size uh, there is a few other things I want to show you uh, last of all is once you've placed your uh, plants you probably you're probably not going to know how to get rid of them getting rid of them is actually really really simple just the way it is uh, placing them down in the first place so to do that you just hold down control and then click and it will get rid of them and it will only delete the stuff on the layer that you've got selected so if I have this one selected it won't go it won't go and delete my uh, all the other trees so I'm just gonna go ahead and put these back in and you'll see that we've got a really really nice dense forest scene in the works that's looking pretty badass and yeah that's pretty much all I want to cover you in this video. Uh, thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe. And in the next video, I plan to do something really cool, uh, something else that's really cool. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.